Unsubstantiated, but clearly that's the center of the focus of what is called a death investigation by LAPD and coroner investigators. It's not a criminal investigation by any stretch, they say at this point, but they seem to be actively gathering evidence. We saw that yesterday outside the Holmby Hills home where Michael Jackson uh, uh, sto stopped breathing. This was the house that he was renting. They went in, they gathered two large bags of what they're calling medical evidence, and after they pulled that medical evidence out of the home, they came over and they had a brief statement basically saying that information that they had gathered through interviews led them back to the house to pick up this additional evidence. They also made a point of saying uh, that the family is cooperating and that the investigation continues waiting on, of course, those toxicology results, which will be very important to see whether or not there, there was actual uh, prescription medicine in terms of uh, adding to the uh, cause of Michael Jackson's death. At this point, as you mentioned, it's, it's, it's unsubstantiated on one level. Uh, in terms of reporting, but also on that toxicology level as well, unsubstantiated, because they don't have those uh, affirmative results back yet. Of course, a lot of people curious about Michael Jackson's three children. Two of the children uh, were, are from Debbie Rowe, who no longer has any connection, from what I understand, to the children. Could she resurface, or has she resurfaced? Uh, absolutely, she could. In fact, she is invited, I and mean, it's not like a, a party by any stretch, but she's invited to take part in a hearing that has been set up to deal with the issue of the custody of the children. Right now, Katherine Jackson, Michael Jackson's mother and the children's grandmother, has been granted temporary custody, but Debbie Rowe is sort of this wild card out there. If she wants to assert her potential parental rights, she could now given that fact, uh, her time with the children, uh, how much has there been? Of course, she did receive uh, 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 parental standing back when Michael Jackson was fighting the child molestation charges, and in that deal, she was given some sort of vague parental visitation rights. Nobody knows if she's ever followed up on that or what her relationship, if any, is with his children, and she hasn't said anything publicly to, s to send a message that she will be actively fighting for the kids, but absolutely a possibility and something people are and the Jackson family undoubtedly is watching very closely. And right now, the three children are under the temporary custody of Michael Jackson's mom. Yes, they are uh, in the house behind here, the uh, Jackson family home in Encino. This is a different home, of course, where from where Michael Jackson stopped breathing. Uh, the children are here, and the family says, listen, these kids know us, and, and specifically Catherine, Michael's mother, very well. This is the best spot for them, and that is the argument they'll, they'll bring to the court.